in this video let us discuss the chapter income from house property we all know that whatever income an individual earns that income must be brought to tax under any of the five heads of income so what income will be taxed under this head under the head house property it is the rental income if the assessee receives any rent from the property then that income must be taxed under this head so in this video i will be explaining what is the basis of charge what is annual value what is let out property self occupied property format for calculating annual value what is vacancy period and unrealized rent and finally the format for calculating income from house property first let us discuss what is basis of charge the basis of charge is the annual value of the property so we have two components here one is annual value and the other is property let us discuss this one by one the annual value means the sum at which the property might be reasonably let out from year to year that is uh, for example the assessee may say he is receiving 10000 rupees as rent from a tenant that is the rent that he receives he claims that he is receiving 10000 rupees but we have to calculate a rent that the property might reasonably fetch the property might reasonably generate so how to calculate this annual value we will see it in the later part of the slide we are not going to take the actual rent that is received by the assessee we are going to ca calculate a reasonable rental income from the property that that value is called as annual value now what is property property means any construction any building it may be a apartment it may be a house it may be a commercial shop it may be a godown whatever it is any construction any building that is called as a property and the assessee must be the owner of the building the rental income will be taxed to the person in whose name the building is for example the father is the owner of the building as per records as per documents the father is the owner of the building but the rent is received by the son who will be taxed in this case the father because he is the owner of the building so the the tax will be on the person in whose name the building is and the last one is the building must not be used for assessee's own business or profession if the assessee is using the building for his business purpose or for his professional purpose then that income will not come under this head it will be charged under the head income from business or profession it will not come under this head of income what are the types of property the first one is a let out property what is a let out property if the assessee is giving the property for rent for rent purpose the tenant may use it for any reason he may use it as a residential house or he may use it for commercial purpose or he may use it for his professional purpose whatever it is the assessee gives he let out this property and if he is receiving a rent from that property then that property is called as a let out property that property is taxable under the head income from house property the second one is self occupied property self occupied property means the assessee is using the property for his own residential purpose he is using the uh, property for his own living purpose he is living in the property with his family then that property is called as self occupied property this property is also taxable under the head business sorry under the head house property the next is the property used by the assessee for his own business or profession if the assessee is using the property for his business or for carrying out his profession then that income is not taxable under the head house property as i already told you it is taxable under the head business or profession it is not taxable under the head house property so a let out property and a self occupied property is taxable under the head income from house property so by this time you should know that the let out property and self occupied property will be taxable under the head income from house property now 
Initially, I told you a value called annual value, the sum at which the property might be let out reasonably from year on year. How will that annual value be calculated? That annual value will be calculated based on these four values, municipal value, fair rental value, standard rent and actual rent. What is this municipal value? Every locality or every municipality, the local authority, they will be having a valuation for building in their area. So, the value of the building as per the local authority records or as per the municipality is called as the municipal value. The next value is the fair rental value. Fair rental value is the value of similar property in the same locality. What is a similar property in the same locality? For example, I am having a 2 BHK apartment in Chennai Ananagar. In Chennai Ananagar, normally a 2 BHK apartment will be available for rent from 10,000 to 12,000 onwards. So that is called as the fair rental value. The rent of similar property in the same locality. Then standard rent. In India, we have a rent control act. This rent control act will be fixing the rent for every building. So, as per the Rent Control Act, what is the rent fixed for the building? That is called as the standard rent. The next is actual rent. Actual rent means the rent that is received by the owner from his tenant. That is whatever the rent the assessee is receiving from the tenant. If the assessee is receiving some 5000 rupees per month, then that is the actual rent. Now, based on the values, let us see how to calculate annual value. Now, this format for calculating annual value is for a let out house property. That is, I told you there are two types. One is let out property and the other is self-occupied property. Now, we are calculating annual value for a let out property and when there is no vacancy and unrealized rent. I will tell you what is vacancy and unrealized rent later. Now, when there is no vacancy and unrealized rent, how to calculate annual value? It is actually a very simple calculation. We will compare the values. As I told you, we will compare municipal value and fair rental value. Write the values in the amount column. Whichever is high, the highest value, bring it down. Bring down the highest value. Compare it with standard rent. Write the value in the amount column. Now, we already have one value. We compare it with standard rent. Take the least value. Whichever is less. Of these two values, take the least value. Bring it down. This rent is called as expected rent. This value is called as expected rent. With this expected rent, you have to compare actual rent received. Write the amount in the amount column. Compare these two, va compare these two values. Take the highest value. Bring down the answer. This answer is called as gross annual value. After calculating gross annual value, we have to deduct municipal tax. That is, the, the municipality will charge tax on every building in the locality. So, we have to deduct that municipal tax. After deducting the municipal tax, the answer that we get is called as annual value. For example, in the, book, in the question, if you have some 1000 rupees, not 1000, say 10,000 rupees as your municipal value. 10,000 rupees is the municipal value and the fair rental value is some 20,000 rupees. Compare these two values and bring down the highest value of these two values. Bring down the highest value. So, the highest value is 20,000. With this, you have to compare standard rent. Say, for example, the standard rent is 15,000. So, compare these two values and take the least value. The least value is 15,000. With this, you have to compare actual rent. For example, the actual rent is some 12,000 rupees. Compare and take the highest value. The highest value will be 15,000 rupees. This is your gross annual value. After calculating gross annual value, whatever is the municipal tax that is given, deduct municipal tax, you will get the annual value. Say, for example, in this problem, if Municipal taxes some 1000 rupees. Deduct it. Bring down the answer. Your annual value will be 14,000 rupees. So, calculation of annual value is very simple. 
for example in your question if you have if you don't have some values for example if fair rental value is not given this value is not given in the question what you have to do you have to skip it this value is not given in the question so skip it compare municipal value with standard rent and then compare it with actual rent so if any value is not given it is not at all an issue skip that value for example both municipal value and fair rental value is not given only standard rent and actual rent is given okay compare these two values bring down the answer deduct municipal tax the answer that you get is called as annual value so when you are doing like this one important tip to have the answer correctly is whenever you are comparing with standard rent whenever you are comparing with standard rent you have to take the least value if you are comparing with other values if you are comparing with the other values take the highest value if you are comparing with standard rent take the least value if you are comparing with municipal value fair rental value and actual rent take the highest value and then and another important point to be noted here is when you are deducting municipal tax when you are deducting municipal tax you have to remember two things if the tax is unpaid if in the question it is given that the tax is unpaid then you cannot deduct that municipal tax municipal tax should be paid then only it can be claimed as a deduction and if the tax is paid for 2 to 3 previous years that is the assc has paid tax for 3 years continuously only during the current previous year then the total amount paid can be claimed as a deduction we are not bothered about the year for which the tax is paid whatever amount he is paying for whatever assessment years that is not at all a matter say he is paying tax for 5 years together he is paying it only during the current previous year the total amount can be claimed as a deduction so that is what i have given at the end municipal tax can be claimed can be deducted on actual payment if the tax is due it cannot be paid and irrespective of the year for which it has been paid for which year we are paying it is not at all matter previous year la how much tax we are paying the total tax can be claimed as a deduction so the two points we have to remember while calculating annual value of a let out property is you have to compare four values you cannot change this order you have to compare four values municipal value fair rental value standard rent actual rent when you are comparing with standard rent take the least value if you are comparing with other values take the highest value if a value is not given skip it compare it with the next value say municipal value and actual rent alone is given compare municipal value actual value actual rent whichever is high so i hope you understood this annual value calculation so far we were seeing how to calculate annual value when there is no vacancy or unrealized rent if there is a vacancy period or if there is unrealized rent how to calculate annual value before that what is vacancy period uh, i will explain you this with an example for example the tenant vacated a property there was a tenant in the property and he vacated in the month of june the next tenant occupied the property came in and occupied the property only during september so what is the vacancy period here the vacancy period is 2 months that is the period during which the house was not occupied by the tenant there was no tenant in the property this period is called as the vacancy period if the house is vacant from 1st of april to 31st of march our previous year starts from april and ends on march so if the house property is vacant for this whole period from april to march it is called as vacant for the whole year the property is vacant for the whole year and the gross annual value will be nil if the house is vacant for a part of the year like this example the house was vacant only for 2 months so this is called as vacancy for a part of the year if the house is vacant for a part of the year how will we calculate annual value till expected rent there is no change in the calculation we will compare municipal value fair rental value and standard rent and calculate expected rent when you are calculating actual rent 
normally we will multiply rent per month into 12 but we should not do like that for example if the rent is some 2000 rupees is the rent and the house was vacant for two months like this example the house was vacant for two months so you will multiply only by 2000 into 10 why we are multiplying it by 10 because we have received rent only for 10 months the building was occupied for 10 months and we received rent only for 10 months so 12 minus the number of months the building was vacant so 12 minus 2 will give you 10 months if the house was vacant for 3 months 12 minus 3 only for 9 months we received the rent so 2000 into 9 only you should work out so the rent per month will be uh, the actual rent will be rent per month into number of months the building was occupied or for the number of months the rent was received calculate and you will get an answer write it in the in the, uh, write it in the amount column and usually we will compare and take the highest value but in this case you should not compare if the house is vacant you will not compare whatever is the actual rent bring down the answer that will be your gross annual value so if there is vacancy period instead of comparing and taking the highest value whatever is the answer as actual rent bring down the answer that will be your gross annual value now unrealized rent what is unrealized rent if the owner of the building if the assessee is not able to receive rent from the tenant the tenant is living in the house he is using the property but he did not pay rent that is called as unrealized rent if you have unrealized rent how to calculate annual value till gross annual value there is no change municipal value fair rental value whichever is high bring down the answer compare with standard rent whichever is less bring down the answer compare it with actual rent whichever is high bring down the answer it is called as annual value while you are deducting municipal tax deduct unrealized rent also so if there is unrealized rent while deducting municipal tax deduct unrealized rent and add it bring it to the outer column deduct it from gross annual value you will get annual value so for deducting unrealized rent one point you should keep in mind if the conditions of rule 4 of the income tax act is satisfied then that unrealized rent only can be deducted that is if as an assessee if i am claiming unrealized rent i have to satisfy all the conditions specified under rule 4 only if i am satisfying that conditions then i can claim unrealized rent as a deduction so far we we understood how to calculate annual value for a let out property that is if you have vacancy or if you have unrealized rent we have to adjust for it and then we will calculate annual value so after calculating annual value how to calculate income from house property this we are calculating for a let out property i told you there are two types of properties one is let out the other is self occupied if it is a let out property after calculating annual value we can claim three deduction the first one is standard deduction standard deduction is the deduction which is allowed for the maintenance expenses of the property so this standard deduction is 30 percentage of annual value whatever answer that you get here is annual value on that annual value if you claim 30 percentage you will get the standard deduction after calculating standard deduction if the property is built or it is purchased or any heavy repairs work done on the property or any heavy capital expenditure done on the property for this purpose if the assessee is taking a loan to purchase the house to construct the house to rebuild the house remodel the house for the purpose of the house property if a loan is taken and if interest is paid on the loan that interest amount can be claimed as a deduction so if you have any interest on loan that we can write it in the inner column then pre-construction interest what is pre-construction interest how to calculate pre-construction interest i have uploaded a separate video so if we have a pre-construction interest we have to write it in the inner column add all these three deduction bring it to the outer column 
deducted from annual value the answer that you get is income from the let out house property so this is how we have to calculate annual value and income from a let out property so so far we were discussing how to calculate annual value and income from a let out property if the property is a self occupied property how to calculate annual value the annual value of a self occupied property is nil because there is no income from a self occupied property the owner is using the property for his own residential purpose he will not receive any rent from the property so the annual value is nil regarding deductions standard deduction cannot be claimed for a self occupied property interest on loan and pre construction interest if there is any loan amount borrowed then that interest amount can be claimed as a deduction and if there is any pre construction interest that can also be claimed so if there is any interest added bring it to the outer column deducted from annual value the answer that you get is a loss from a self occupied house why we have a loss because we don't have an income there is no income from that we are making certain deductions so your answer will be negative always your answer will be negative either nil or a negative answer so you will arrive at a loss from a self occupied house property so this is how we have to calculate income for a let out property or the annual value of a self occupied property hope you understood the concepts and found this video useful thank you for watching